so nice to walk on the outside to the inside. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I never really <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, I do. My name is Gary, Gary King. I am now the president, since Fred left me, um, of the Brockton Library Foundation. Fred and I um, started in the Library Foundation about 10, 12 years ago. Um, he was the president and I was the second fiddle. And um, we got a lot done around here. And um, <laughs> every time we had to, to do something, um, as far as fixing this, fixing that, it was always Fred's first answer. Let me call Mike. Let me call Mike. And I kept on saying, who's Mike? Who's Mike? He says, wait a minute, you do drapes, right? I says, yeah. He says, you'll be working out at TJX. I says, yeah. He says, walk down the hall. You hear somebody screaming. Walk up to that guy and stick out your hand and say, hi, Mike, I'm Gary. Wouldn't you know it? The next day, I walk down the hall, hi, Mike. <laughs> he was here a minute ago. Um, other than that, Fred and I had a great relationship. Um, we talked every other day um, about this, that. I'm always asking him where he's going. He's always asking me where I'm going. Fred was always on the go. Fred did everything. And um, everybody loved him. Uh, if he wasn't teaching a class, he was uh, coaching and uh, refereeing a football game or a baseball game. And he was always going. But his whole life was around his family, around his daughter, around his son, his wife, and Mike. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. I know my brother would. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to turn this over to Mark, um, if you could please. Sure. Gary. Hi, folks. It's an absolute honor to be here today to represent the Board of Trustees. My name is Mark Lindy. My first job was here when I was 15, so I loved this place, and I was lucky enough to serve on the Board of Trustees when Fred Howell served on the Board of Trustees. We were just talking about getting this library expansion going, and he was one of the biggest enthusiasts. The only problem is if you're on the library board, you have to actually live in Brockton. He moved. So he figured out he was going to stay involved, work on the library foundation, and who helped us and helps us as a partner every day. Um, I was so shocked when I heard about the news with Fred, and I was very sad. But this memorial is a wonderful tribute to him. I mean, we got lots of rooms named and things like that. But um, Fred rolled up his sleeves, did the work, and just took care of everybody here. Um, Gary's doing a great job. Uh, you know, by you know, you get to be the president by default all of a sudden. I've been there in a couple of times doing that, and I'm just happy that we're here to do this. The whole family has been connected to the library as long as. I've worked with Brenda back in the day, and uh, I'm just so happy to be here. I just want to introduce a few people um, that are here, a couple of uh, few elected officials. We have State Senator Mike Brady right here, who you'll hear from in a little bit, Michael. Um, we have State Representative Michelle Dubois right over there. And we have our City Councilor at Large, Gene Bradley Duranancourt, who was a library trustee for one brief year, and then he got a promotion and he went to the City Council. We're very lucky to have the strong support of the Mayor and the Council for this library. And then I have two of my fellow trustees here. I have our newest trustee, Lisa O'Donnell, and I have Frank Trafella. You got it right? Yeah. Okay, good. good job. Um, we have a great board and we're volunteers too. So at this point, without further ado from me, I would like to introduce Julie. You wanted to say a few words, right? Yes. First of all, thank you guys all so much for coming out today. Um, this would have meant the absolute world to my father. It means a lot to us as the family. I speak for all of us, I think, when I say that we're really grateful for the community around this and what the library does for the community. He really strongly believed in giving back and taking the time to help others. His legacy was all about education and providing the resources for people to be able to take in and learn as much as they possibly can. So what the library does for the community and just the resource itself 
he took so much pride in being able to make it accessible for everybody and providing those types of resources. And he loved to talk to everybody. Brenda can attest to that. <laughs> talk your ear off about what he was trying to get done for the library. So it meant a lot to him. And the fact that this organization is continuing forward to still do great things um, would still mean a lot to him. And this is an amazing tribute to him. And we're really grateful and honored that you guys could be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> if our state senator, who has been a lifelong Ward 2 resident, and I think we're in Ward 2, right? Yes. Okay, Mike has a proclamation. Thank you, Mark, and I want to thank everyone for attending today, and uh, it's a great event to honor Fred, and he married into a great family, the Bosworth family, that I grew up with yeah. back in the neighborhood. <laughs> the, the Bosworths, they still talk to me, and they knew me from West Junior High days, and I used to help the brother Kevin delivered newspapers in the old neighborhood and grew up with the whole family and we have a lot of great memories and it's been a tough because we've lost some family members and we all have and uh, that's why we, it's great to honor those who have gone before us and to honor them for what they've helped out with the library and uh, our library director had, had lost a family member as well I know he couldn't be here today but this is a citation from the state senate be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the family of Fred Howell Jr a recognition of the granite bench dedicated in memory of Fred Howell, former trustee and co-founder of the Brockton Library Foundation, Incorporated. Fred gave endless time to help the patrons of the Brockton Public Library. It's signed by a new uh, president of the state Senate, Karen Spilka, the clerk of the Senate, William Welch, and myself, Mike Braden. Uh, thank you for allowing Fred to give all of his time to us here in Brockton. So. I don't think Brenda needs any introduction. Probably not. Okay, but Brenda Rodriguez, <laughs> so, who gave her life uh, to the library. I did. And her family, too. Thank you. So I was employed here at the library for 42 years, and with that, um, I retired and then went on to um, a different profession. So right now, I am the president of SEIU Local 888 representing 8,700 workers across the state of Massachusetts who are municipal um, and state workers. So it gives me great pleasure to be here today. Um, I'm also very humbled to um, see so many of you here. Our love for Fred has brought us here today and our great memories of Fred. And so when the library was in dire straits in the 90s, um, we were threatened with um, the closure of the library. And the closure of the library meant that all the employees were going to lose their jobs, which wasn't really what the big problem was. The big problem was the city was losing its heart, the heart that kept the city together in downtown. So we fought, and it was really funny. I wrote a letter to the editor, and I tried to get people to help me, and everybody was like, ah, nope, nope, nope. And the mayor kept threatening my job. Nope, the library's going to close. Kept telling me, keep my mouth shut. Well, needless to say, if any of you know me, I do not keep my mouth shut for very long. Um, so I wrote a letter to the editor, and I asked all the public officials and all the clergy and the people that use the library, the patrons, to come together and um, come to a public meeting and tell the mayor that we didn't want the library to close. Over 500 people showed up, and from there we, we sprung off, and we passed a piece of legislation with the help of the... Uh, all our representatives that represented the city of Brockton, uh, we were able to pass a piece of legislation within 24 hours. We got the state funding back to the library. And from there, Fred said, you know what, Brenda, we need to do? You need to find, you know, be a friend of the library. You need to incorporate. So he helped me do all the paperwork. We ended up with 500 members of our Brockton Library Foundation. And from there, we started doing lots of fundraising. And then Fred, actually was the one that brought the first computers here. Um, it was an amazing feat. Um, libraries were always like, nope, we're not going to do internet. Nope, cite your source. We went on and on. But with Fred's uh, determination and his knowledge and his, uh, his willingness to help us in every way he could um, is what we ended up with. So this bench 
is a great honor to Fred. And, it, and at the bottom it says, if you see the need, take the lead. That was definitely Fred. But I just had to read this to you. Uh, there was about 10 of us that started the, uh, the organization. And, and unfortunately, most of them have passed now. But Bob Wychulis, who was quite a character, a great, great patron of the library, and he, he called me one day and he's like, Brenda, we, I want to join you guys. What can I do? So I introduced him to Fred and he became one of our board members. And since then, um, he's had to move away. So he wrote to me and he says, I worked for Fred for many years at the Brockton Library Foundation. It was one of the best experiences in my life. Fred was doing something good and I tagged along. Fred was the hottest boss I ever had. He made things happen. I learned from him, and he was just great. But above all, that Fred had a good heart. He felt deep down what he was doing at the Brockton Library Foundation was a real contribution to Brockton, and it certainly was. And he made me feel the same way. Fred's personality was something else. He communicated directly with everyone. You know what I mean, and it worked. I guess he was talking about the, all the phone calls we would get. <laughs> I miss very much our meetings at the Italian kitchen. I always came out of the meetings happy with a direction. It made me feel good. And the pasta there was great. I know that Fred is upstairs now and talking to everyone with the same colorful language that he used in Brockton. God asked Fred to calm down. And Fred told God to calm down himself, herself. He said, God, that is how I talked in Brockton. Nobody got offended, and I got things done. Why should I be any different now? God, you said you're right, Fred. I checked with a few people yesterday in Brockton, and they said that they all loved you. And guess what? They all used the same colorful language. God said, go ahead, Fred, be yourself. I think I'll start using the same language myself. I'm impressed. That's, that's Fred. Thanks, Fred. Keep it going. I will jo join you very soon, and we will have to straighten heaven out. So that's just a piece of all the fun that we used to have together. So I just had to read that. And I, I really want to thank everybody for coming out today. I know we have Fred's family here, and we have my family. We have um, friends of the family. We have library workers. We have trustees. We have political officials. Just we have everybody, right? We have past employees. We have members of the foundation. Talking about the time when we added computers to the library, uh, I was the acting director for a short period of time, as the longest part of my life, I, I swear. <laughs> that was not for me. But he was right there by my side when I had to uh, go to meetings with the uh, Old Colony Library Network for the first time. And there were people who were not excited or interested in our joining. And I knew with him by my side, we were going to join. We were going to get computers. We were going to have these resources available for the Brockton residents. And he was a rock and gave me confidence, and it happened. I name a lot of names, but there were some great library foundation and trustees that loved this place. And it's always been a labor of love at the library here. Um, it was a great job because I could answer the buzzer and get the get the books when you use the old Dewey Decimal System, but uh, I could read in between getting those books. So this is a place that has opened up the world. It's labeled upstairs the People's University. If you haven't seen it, there's a 1933 WPA mural here. It's a great place. We've been lucky to have support from all the elected officials now because we all complain long and loud because we needed to keep this place open. Who people say, who needs a library anymore? Brockton needs a library every morning. And we're lucky the city council, the legislature, the mayor, and the citizens. It's, it's, it's a home. It's a community center. And we're going to welcome you in, and we'll have some of that good, I think it's Italian we're kitchen. We're Italian right? kitchen, of so course. So why not? Why, why would I not so have So thank you all for being here, and we appreciate all of you. <laughs>